So whatever the case may be, whatever you set yourself up for uh, going on a diet, exercising more, a low buy, um, whatever the case, just make sure that you set your um, goals realistically. Um, another tip for no buys is, and I did this New Year's Day, I spent just about all day New Year's Day doing this, and that was unscribing, unsubscribing to um, emails that I was getting from all these different companies like Dillard's, Macy's, Nordstrom, um, Mac, just all the different, you know, cosmetic companies, um, Too Faced, Tarte, you know, all of those. Yes. I got a video. Ow. Going out. Come on, Penny. So that your emails aren't being just saturated with all the different sales that they've got going because that's that's what really would get me a lot was um you know maybe peach and lily which i really like ordering from peach and lily you know hey today we're doing and today only we're doing 30 percent off you know your entire order that type thing so i did go through and i unsubscribed to a boatload of emails of just different brands that I was getting emails from that I just decided I just didn't need to be reminded every day of some type of sale or new product that was coming out so I did that um, another thing was um, I went through and I did a lot of purging on my YouTube subscriptions on people that I'm subscribed to um, because a lot of those people that I subscribed to, I was just mainly would only watch them when I they had a haul video. So I went through and really looked at the people that I was subscribed to, really took into account what kind of content they have on their channel. And if it was something that I felt like, you know, I just wasn't really connected to that person or to their content, then I went ahead and unsubscribed. I went from being subscribed to like 300 to under a hundred so that was really good so now I don't have all that extra um, feed coming through in my subscriptions you know telling me all these different videos you know I have really good content to watch and and people that are more not just focused on beauty but maybe do like you know books and coloring and different things of that aspect same thing with my Instagram following. I went through and I purged out Instagram following. Like first of all, I went through and I purged out and unfollowed all of the brands first, you know, like Too Faced and different ones like that. And then I went through and did some of the, um, some of the other people that I really don't connect with, so to speak, and I unfollowed those. Um, another, tip is I got into a really 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 bad habit of ordering online and not actually going in store and so doing it online I was using um, credit instead of cash and so I have decided I'm just going to stick with cash purchases and unless they have like if they do PayPal then I have some money in my PayPal account that I can use but I'm, I'm not doing anything on credit cards I've gotten two of my credit cards paid off now um, which feels really really good to be honest with you so I don't want to um, accumulate more debt on those so I'm sticking with cash purchases only another tip is to shop your own collection your own stash because I guarantee you if you are a makeup junkie you've got products in your collection that you probably haven't used in weeks and months maybe even years so shop your stash and pull out what you have and start playing with it I went through and did I did an inventory that's another tip is to write down everything that you have go through and write down and keep track of every single piece of skincare of makeup that you have and you will be surprised at how much you have I mean I knew I had a lot and when I started counting there was categories like single eyeshadows I didn't realize I had over a hundred single eyeshadows I didn't there, if you would have said you have that many, I would have said no I don't, I have just a handful. 
No, I had, I had more than a handful. So keep track, you know, go through and do an inventory of what you have. Um, another good thing to do with seeing what you have and shopping your own things is is rearrange everything. You may have everything kind of put into drawers or put into a basket or whatever your storage may be on how you house your cosmetics. Go through all of it and rearrange it. It's like getting new stuff that way because when I open up my makeup drawers because I've rearranged everything because we were moving for one thing, now I have everything in different drawers and so my top drawer instead of opening it up and seeing some eyeshadow palettes I have some of my quads in there now so it kind of changes it up and makes it look like and feel a little different <clears throat> um, before you make a purchase make sure you're doing your research on that item you know look at reviews do your research and then think about it think about it for at least a good 24 hours before you make a purchase and just really make sure that that's something that you really really want to get um, look at your inventory keep your inventory once you make a list of it keep it somewhere where you know where it's at so you can refer back to it and look and see if you, it's something that you really do want and need and want to add into your collection um, wait until the hype is over you know how it is with YouTube people get they get this product sent to them for free and they send it to you know a hundred youtubers and the next thing you know it's the greatest thing since bread and butter and everybody wants it wait until the hype is calmed down a little bit do your research on it and then purchase it especially if it's not a limited edition item um i think i've um pretty much i've already touched on all my notes already some of my other one stuff um another thing too and I'm really bad about doing this. I think a lot of us are. And I don't know who, I think it was Minx for All was talking about this. But anyway, I'm really bad about when I see an item that's on sale or on clearance, I look at how much money I'm saving on that item. Um, like, let's say, let's say this right here was normally $50. I'm at Nordstrom Rack. This is normally $50. And um, it's marked down to $30. <clears throat> I thought, oh wow, I'm saving 20 bucks on this. I better get one. No, I better get two. No, I better get three of them because I'm saving $20 on each of those. What I need to be looking at is, okay, this is going to cost me $30. $30. Do I really want to spend $30 on a product like this? What is it going to do for me for my $30 that I'm spending on this product? What is it going to do for me for $30? So kind of look at what you're actually spending versus what you're actually saving because that got me into a lot of trouble this past year. Oh, well, I'm saving 20%, so I'm going to spend $5,000 at Sephora because everything's 20% off. That's an exaggeration, okay? But you get what I'm saying, so kind of look at what you're actually spending. And, you know, there was a lot of times that I would buy something on clearance that I really didn't need or want, but because it was on clearance and I was saving X amount of money, I went ahead and purchased it but now I need to be really looking at one how much am I spending what am I actually spending what's the bottom dollar that I'm spending and what is it going to be doing for me what is this product going to do for me and for my life is it going to cause me happiness am I going to see results using it um, am I going to enjoy it or am I going to go home show it in a video pack it into my storage containers and then six months from now pull it out and feel guilty that I have it and that I haven't used it yet and then stress about it because I haven't used it. So just kind of keep these tips and tricks in mind. Um, things work differently for everybody. It's just something I thought maybe if you're doing a no buy or if you're really watching your budget this year, um, whatever it may be, that maybe you can incorporate some of these tips into that. So anyway, thank you so much for joining. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for joining me. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and catch me in the next video. Bye.